Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're spending the day in the gardens with the Samsung Galaxy S8, the LG G6, the Google Pixel, and the HTC U Ultra. Of course, nowadays, we take our cameras everywhere with us, and that's simply because they're attached to our phones. What better way to compare the latest flagship devices than to take them with us to a beautiful garden setting where spring is fully in bloom? Let's delve into a few scenarios and see which phone gives us the best results. We're going to start with this rose, which has a rather interesting deep purple color that seems pretty difficult to match. Taking a look at all four phones side by side shows just how different each one's image processing can be and how far color accuracy can go to giving us the correct results. In this comparison, only the Google Pixel got the color right. The rest of the phones make the flower look a little more pink than it actually is. The Pixel is the only one that shows this flower with any real deep purple highlights at all, and a lot of it comes down to the fact that the other images are all a bit too warm, likely because of the green leaves in the shot. The first win goes to the Google Pixel. Second, we're going to take a look at a feature that doesn't get a whole lot of love from most phones out there, object tracking. This seemed to be more popular a few years ago, but now with the advent of truly great autofocus on many of these phones, the feature is now more meaningful than ever. This is a more organic test than some of the others because it relies on a moving object, so the goal here is to see whether or not the camera actually locks onto that moving object or can even focus on it at all. Looking at them side by side, it's pretty obvious which phones utilize multiple different types of autofocus and which ones simply rely on phase detection autofocus or laser autofocus alone to do the job. The Google Pixel and the HTC CU Ultra both missed the shot completely, and no matter how many times I clicked on the bee moving in the flowers, neither phone was able to focus on such a small point among many other contrasting points in the shot. The clear winners here are the LG G6, with an impressive shot of the bee holding still for a moment, and the Galaxy S8, which actually caught the bee flying thanks to its incredible object tracking ability. The overall winner goes to the Galaxy S8 here, though, as it took a number of tries with the G6 to get this shot right, since that bee kept moving, but the S8 got it on the first try after clicking the bee and having an auto track its movement. Next up we'll take a look at a macro shot of a bee that isn't doing so well, giving us the opportunity to view him up close and personal. Looking at all four shots shows the difference in contrast and exposure levels, and zooming in reveals even more. The Galaxy S8 is the clear loser here, having held the shutter open far too long since this is in the shade, creating a picture full of blur. The HTC U Ultra is up next with a really nice overall shot that exhibits great detail, although there's a tiny bit of blur here. The U Ultra seems to have done a better job with the shutter speed of 1 60th of a second than the Galaxy S8 did. Next up is the Google Pixel, which upped the ISO instead of shutter speed and got a much clearer picture because of it. It's a much nicer exposure overall, showing tons of detail in the shadows and darker parts of the B, all while keeping the noise levels down, although it's not quite as in focus as some of the other ones. The LG G6 is the winner here though, and although the shot is slightly underexposed, it picked up the most detail of any of the images. Note the hairs and other fine detail on the B's legs, as well as the pollen on its back, are more clearly visible here. A winner for LG. This next shot combines a bit of zoom detail with dynamic range and color accuracy as well. Taking shots under shade tends to result in overly bright areas of a photo, a place that HDR tends to significantly help with on smartphones. The HTC U Ultra and Google Pixel have the worst color accuracy here, both exhibiting a bit of a greenish blue hue to the wood that's not present in real life. LG's G6 and the Samsung Galaxy S8 get the colors most correct here, with the Galaxy S8's traditionally warmer hues playing the best effect in this scene. Remember that the warmer hues of the S8 and the cooler hues of the Pixel delivered the opposite result in the first test with the purple flower. What's also telling is zooming into the photo, which reveals some spectacular differences between all four phones. LG's exposure bracketing method resulted in a more blurry photo, likely having a bit of hand movement between exposures, and given this is in the shade, it actually opted for a slower 1 40th of a second shutter speed between exposures. HTC did a better job with detail, but the shot has a number of points that are super overexposed, looking completely white and losing detail because of it. Samsung's HDR method is definitely better here, showing better overall exposure, but remaining a bit soft because of their overly aggressive denoise algorithm, which attempts to remove noise by smudging pixels. Google's HDR Plus algorithm proves the winner here though, not only giving much better overall exposure on the bench and the floor, but providing a lot more detail in the scene too. A win for Google on detail and exposure, and a win for Samsung on color. A little stop to send a selfie to friends and family is always nice, letting them know where you're at and wondering why in the world they aren't there too. 
taking cover in the shade of some tall trees made for an interesting backdrop, particularly because it's quite a bit brighter behind the trees. The exposure levels of these phones are dramatically different to say the least, and like we saw in the first example in this video, the Google Pixel looks quite a bit different from the rest of the pack. Let's start off with the worst of the bunch, the G6. The G6's front-facing camera seems to be quite a departure from the G5, looking very low resolution and soft to say the least, even in the middle of the day. Exposure levels are pretty high here, but at least you can see my face. The HTC U Ultra is next in line, showing a slightly higher resolution picture, but still looking soft and overly bright in general. The Galaxy S8 keeps with the same overbright mantra as the previous two, but increases the detail quite a bit. You wouldn't normally be zooming in to see detail in a selfie shot, but this makes it look like a much higher quality picture than the other two, which almost have a cheap feature phone feeling to them. The Google Pixel absolutely slaughters the competition though, not only giving the color and atmosphere of the scene correct, but showing more detail and having better exposure as well. My face is a little dark in this scene, but the immense levels of detail in the background, including the significantly better dynamic range of this image, result in a huge win for Google here. Sometimes you just can't get that perfect shot that you envision, or maybe there's something unattractive in the way that needs to be cropped out. On top of that, this shot in particular is looking right at the sunset, something that is unavoidable when trying to take a picture of the estate at this time of day. Cropping this one to frame the pond and tree line in, we can see that the G6 once again took too long between exposures and falls victim to natural hand jitter. It's a shame too because this is the best illuminated of the bunch and may have looked great. On the opposite note, the Galaxy S8 seems to not have done a good enough job of upping the exposure to make for the bright sun shining into the lens, resulting in a dark subject in this crop. The HTC U Ultra does a better job with exposure, but still comes out a bit dark, and the processing is a tad heavy on the house and the trees, making things look a little bit fuzzy and soft. Google's Epic HDR Plus software shines through yet again, grabbing a near-perfect exposure of the house and still holding tons of zoom detail, resulting in a photo that really looks great, especially when you consider just how far it needed to be zoomed in to crop the subject. Another win for the Google Pixel. Last but not least, we come in for a cozy seat by the fire as the night cools down, giving one of the most challenging things to take a picture of. The LG G6 comes out looking the worst here, with some weird color aberrations and an overall underexposed shot thanks to the bright flames. You can't make out any of the brick behind the flame, and in general, this one doesn't look great. The Galaxy S8 looks maybe marginally better here, but it has a green tint to the whole image, resulting in inaccurate colors as well, but not as many strange discolorations in random parts like the G6 did. The HTC U Ultra showing a much better exposure and more accurate colors, although the image has a bit too warm of a hue to it. Still, the fact that we can see both the variety of colors in the flame without distortion, and the bricks and logs are properly illuminated as well, make this a better picture. Google's Pixel follows along those lines, showing accurate colors all around though, including some excellent dynamic range that shows not just the colors and variety in the flames, but also illuminates the bricks in the back. It doesn't have quite the dynamic range of the HTC U Ultra, but overall the colors look a little bit better. While the shot is out of focus a bit, it doesn't get docked too much simply because the other ones don't have much in the way of zoom detail either. This one's a tie between the Google Pixel and the HTC U Ultra. In the end, it's pretty clear who the winner is yet again. The LG G6 and the HTC U Ultra both share a single category win, while Samsung does a little better with two wins. Google leaps over the pack and then some with five total wins, showing that even the most complicated software with boatloads of features doesn't trump quality in the end. Thus far, Google is the contender to beat and has been for some time now, and 20 2017 doesn't look to be changing that anytime soon. We hope you enjoyed that comparison and will subscribe to us for more regularly updated content. Check us out on your favorite social network and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 Android-based news coverage. Thanks for watching and until next time.